Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. It's time for the December 23rd reveal of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. If you have the advent calendar and haven't looked at the December 23rd item, you may want to pause the video. I'm about to reveal it. So it's over on the right hand side, upper corner. It's a narrow window. I'll pull back the flap and I see the sentiment thinking of you. I'll remove the paper wrapping and it looks like we have a sentiment die. So I'll open this up so you can see all the pieces. It has the single words, thinking of you, and also the outline. And one thing that's really nice, the dots for the eye on the word thinking are connected. So you don't have to worry about those teeny tiny little dots. I love that they're including so many general sentiments that you can use throughout the year. I know some people were hesitant about getting the crafty advent calendar since they assumed all of the items would be Christmas or holiday themed, but none of the items are. For my card today, I will be using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Sweet Sunday. It's number 233. The pattern paper is from Doodlebug Designs Hello Again Collection. I've been trying to use the same paper pad for most of my advent cards. For the background of my card, I have this fun rainbow heart design. For the smaller rectangle, I'm using a tone-on-tone -tone teal pattern with little butterflies. I'll layer that piece on some darker teal cardstock. At the bottom of the heart panel, I'm adding a couple of Love From Lizzie peel-offs. I first thought about using the silver holographic but decided to use the teal mirror instead. This is the pinstripe style. I'll use the widest and also the narrowest width. Wrap the ends around the back. I'll layer this piece on some pink cardstock. Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. For the narrow strip that goes across the card using more of the pink cardstock, before adhering it down, I will add some scrap cardstock pieces on the very right and left side where it goes off of the butterfly panel. I will add two pieces on both sides. That way it stays at the same level. Then I'll put glue on the back and adhere it in place. Next, I'll add a small circle die cut and I did use some white shimmer cardstock. I'll put glue on the back and adhere it on the left-hand side of the card. Now I'll add a small flower, and this die was included in a previous advent calendar day. I use yellow cardstock for the flower, gold mirror cardstock for the center, and I did pop up the flower using a thin foam square. For the leaves, I use some of the tone on tone pattern paper from the Hello Again collection. I did cut off the stem and part of the leaf, that way I could easily tuck them underneath the flower. Now I'll add the sentiment, thinking of you. I cut it out of gold mirror cardstock, and I decided not to use the outline. I'll add the word thinking down first, then of you underneath, more on the right side. I think the sentiment looks so pretty cut out of gold mirror cardstock. Earlier when I was debating about adding the silver holographic peel off, I remembered I was using gold for the sentiment, and that's why I switched to the teal mirror peel off instead. So there is my finished card using the December 23 item in Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. There's only one day left, so be sure to come back tomorrow for the December 24th reveal and a card. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.